This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hey, what's going on guys? Broken Machine here. Hope you guys are all doing good today. And I've got a question for you guys. Were you disappointed with that official Battlefield 5 reveal? Were you disappointed with the actual live stream or were you just disappointed with the official trailer or maybe a mixture of both? Do let me know down below. That's what we're going to be discussing today. In my opinion, the trailer looked pretty awesome. I was invited to a behind the scenes private live stream. I got loads of information about the game that unfortunately you guys didn't quite see on the official live stream. If you missed all that, do be sure to check out my channel and the video I posted yesterday. If you were a little disappointed with the official trailer, I think my video may just change your mind. Anyway, disappointment. It seems like there was quite a bit of disappointment in the community. My video did rather well, 2000 likes, 100 dislikes, something like that, but the official Official trailer? Yeah, not so much. And I'd love to know why? Why were people disappointed? Why were you disappointed? I've seen quite a lot of the comments and I'm a little confused in places. I kind of get that perhaps they didn't show enough. Perhaps there was too much information that was given to us EA Game Changers and the press who saw the private stream and maybe that was a mistake on their part. Maybe, maybe they should have shown more in that official trailer in terms of where we're going to actually fight. I think that would have been pretty cool. However, I was watching a remix of the the official Battlefield 5 reveal trailer last night with the addition of the audio from the official Battlefield 1 trailer. So they mixed them up, matched them up, remixed them and all that and produced a Battlefield 5 trailer that looked more like a BF1 trailer. And I gotta be honest, it looked pretty cool, but at the same time I was like, would that maybe be considered too much of the same thing? If they did that, I think more people would have been disappointed. I gotta be honest, that's in my opinion. I'd love to know what you think. Should they have gone the same route as Battlefield 1, you know, a trailer, you know, hinting at the places where you'll fight, what weapons there will be and stuff like that. Or do you think they did the right thing with the official Battlefield 5 trailer where they went down the route of the original Battlefield Bad Company 2 trailer? I'll put it on screen right now so you can see what exactly I mean. Back then, they just went with the gameplay. Well, it's CGI and gameplay like the new Battlefield 5 trailer, but it gives a, a bigger glimpse into the kind of gameplay, squad mechanics, uh, features, and all that good stuff that you'll see in the games. Do you think that was a mistake? I don't think so. I think it looked pretty awesome. Again, I was like, wow, this is really like Bad Company 2. It's got very similar elements. Obviously, it's been inspired by it. And I was so hyped, guys. So, so hyped. It looked amazing. So, so amazing. And, and I gotta be honest, I really don't get the disappointment. Obviously, you know, I think it was a mistake that they showed little information in places, but man, that trailer, there is so much to see. There was so much going on. It was rather fast paced, but if you break it down, there are slow elements in it or so much slower paced um, stuff going on. It's not just run and gun like Call of Duty, like some people have been saying. If you actually pick it apart, you'll see it. You'll see what's going on. Like the players at the sandbags, uh, there, there are plenty of players rushing in, but it, it's, it does change in tempo and the game is going to change in tempo by the way not each map is going to be the same i did discuss this in the video i put up yesterday so if you missed that do check that out but uh, yeah carrying on i'm going to i'm just going to talk about my opinion about the trailer cuz i was really hyped so you know i want to give my opinion obviously you know we're going to look into the the uh, disappointment a little bit more but you know the squad elements they looked awesome um you know fortification building stuff that's not like fortnite by the way we were specifically told or as far as I know, sorry, we were told uh, there's, there is so much information, I'm trying to recall it all. Um, I'm pretty sure that the fortification element that's rebuilding and reinforcing stuff is limited to existing buildings and areas where there was already something there. So, you know, if you're building, if the wall goes, you can reinforce it, uh, put sandbags, put a machine gun, but uh, you can't just like run out into the open and just build a fortress. You know, it's not going to be like Fortnite. It's going to try and and encourage more defensive gameplay in places, or should I say more, it's going to encourage defense, not just 
playing defensively and being campy, but it's going to be like, you want to hold that part of the map? You want to hold that hill? You want to hold those corridors? You want to hold that building? Yeah, you're going to have to stay there and fortify the place. You're going to have to stay there and actually defend it or, you know, kind of patrol around the map. So there's, there's loads of interesting gameplay potential with that. It's not just going to be running around in a circle, zerging over and over and over again, running from flag to flag. You're actually going to have to stay back and actually do some work. So there is so much potential there. And I'm sure the community has been asking for more defensive kind of gameplay elements in places. So I'm not sure what the disappointment about this really is. I don't know. Maybe maybe the trailer was just confusing and didn't really show enough or well, the official live stream. Maybe they just didn't talk about it enough. So I, I kind of get the disappointment with that. Now, destruction. Obviously, that looks awesome. There was so much shown in the trailer. The tanks going through the building. So there is going to be elements that are going to blow away, you know, but uh, you can reinforce it and there will be parts of buildings and stuff that will hang and will fall off eventually. If you watch the trailer, it looks like part of the bridge falls off partway through, so that could be pretty cool. Maybe that whole bridge goes away. So uh, again, I don't see any disappointment there. I'm not sure what that is all about because that's definitely Battlefield, definitely Bad Company 2 style, so that looks amazing. I, I don't get the disappointment there. Now the customization, I've got to be honest, that looks pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy about that. The claw on that uh, lady there, that, uh, well, that is realistic. Come on, guys. That That is clearly realistic. It's a prosthetic. It happened. It's there. It's real. I don't understand the disappointment with that. I'm not sure about the steampunk comparisons. That, uh, I think that's going a little bit too far, uh, a little bit reaching that. And, um, you know, when it comes to women, they obviously helped in the war in many ways. They were there. Obviously, they weren't on the front lines at all times. You know, I'm not a history buff, but this is a battlefield game. It's not meant to be entirely accurate. It's more historically inspired. It's more about what could have been. Is this believable? And it totally is, in my opinion. It, it totally is. If you don't think the same, let me know. Do let me know. I am interested in your opinions. You know, I'm not, I, I'm just a little bit confused about this. I, I don't think the, you know, back in Battlefield 1, uh, there was loads of female soldiers back then in that game. Did that really affect your gameplay? I don't think it did. Did it matter to you so much? I don't think so. It looked awesome. It was awesome, in my opinion. And what about Hell Regals? You know, they were just prototypes, but everybody was running around with those. Yeah, I'm sure the Hell Regal is the most popular gun in Battlefield 1. I'm sure it is. Did that affect your gameplay? I don't think so. I think that was perfectly fine. Yes, it's a prototype, but it could happen. It could happen. It's believable. It's, it's believable, you know? You know, it's, again, it's not about being entirely accurate. It is, you know, it's more historically inspired. And for me, I'm totally fine with that. Oh, and I see lots of comparisons about COD World War II saying their game was more authentic and this image has been shown around. If you played Call of Duty World War II, I'm sorry, but if that image, if you think that game is authentic, you haven't played Call of Duty World War II. You clearly haven't. It's it's not authentic at all. It really isn't. I'm sorry, guys, but it's just not. But uh, yeah, that that's all I got to say about that one. But uh, yeah, I, I got to be honest, I was super excited by the trailer. It looked awesome. There was so much going on. And I am a little disappointed that uh, they didn't talk about more of the mechanics, like jumping over walls and being able to fire at the same time, lying down on the floor, turning around 360 degrees and still shooting as well, uh, lifting up your knees while you're running through water, stumbling up hills, all these animations, uh, the slow-mo kill cams. There was so much information. Honestly, guys, if you haven't checked out my previous video, you have to go and see it. I'll link it in the description and on the screen as well. Do check it out. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's just my opinion. I hope I, uh, I hope I talked about lots of things today and, you know, I'm open to discussion. Let me know what you think. Did I, was this video any good? Did I, uh, did I not talk enough? Maybe, maybe I've not talked enough, you know? <laughs> Maybe I've not talked enough, but uh, yes. Anyway, do let me know. Were you disappointed? What about it disappointed you? I really want to know, you know, I'm, I'm interested. So uh, yes, and uh, oh, by the way, that disclaimer at the start, I had to put that there because, you know, I was part of the behind the scenes live stream. I seen lots of information that you guys didn't see and lots of information that I can't discuss as well. So, uh, you know, that's just there because of that. I'm not being paid for this video. I didn't get paid for watching 
the behind the scenes live stream either and you know I am an EA game changer now but that doesn't really mean it doesn't mean any more changes to the channel otherwise oh, oh, uh, I'm messing up now other than uh, just being able to potentially get my hands on content early that's it guys that's pretty much it it's not going to change my opinions I play this game or I play this series regularly I stream pretty much every single day upload every single day stream to over a thousand people on some streams you know I love Battlefield and this trailer looked pretty awesome to me I don't get the disappointment I kind of understand it in places maybe DICE missed the mark by not talking about more of the actual stuff going on on the uh, official live stream but uh, overall I'm pretty excited anyway thanks for checking out this video guys please drop a like if you enjoyed it and do comment down below take it easy guys catch you later